This video covers editing a log in the event that you leave yourself on duty. In this case, you come in and you see that your DOT time is minus 16 hours, 50 minutes. And what that means is that yesterday afternoon, the truck was left in an on-duty status overnight. You come in prepared to leave today. First thing that must be done is you must change to off-duty. In this case, the stat current status shows is on duty. You cannot edit this current status until the status is changed. So the first thing we're going to do is go to change. We're going to go to off duty. We're going to press OK. At this point, we'll go to the approve tab. and then we will begin to edit the on-duty time. It, it's important to note that at midnight, any status will be ended and will be started again at 12, at, at midnight. So in this case, we started on-duty yesterday afternoon at 14.45 at midnight, that status stopped and a new on-duty status started. What that means is both lines of on duty must be edited to off duty to get your DOT time back to full. So in this case, we can edit the, the top line. We'll select it, we'll highlight it, we'll go to edit. We're gonna go to where it's currently on duty. We're gonna change it to off duty and simply press OK. Once you press OK, it's going to come up and ask, why are you making this edit? You'll tap in that field, make sure the cursor is blinking, get the keyboard up. We can put driver error or whatever else you feel like putting or whatever actually happened. In this case, driver error, we'll get rid of the keyboard and we'll press OK and our glass will come up and you'll notice now that this line says off duty. If you stop, stop at this point, if you notice your DOT time is at eight hours, but if you go to your summary, you'll notice that my 70 hour rule is still missing almost 10 hours. The reason for that is if you come back to the approved tab, you'll see that we've got nine hours and 15 minutes of this on duty status that we have not yet changed. So this next part, I'll show you how to split and edit. So if we go to edit. If, if what you intended to do was to leave yourself on duty to show a post trip and simply forgot to change it to off, trip, off duty when your post trip was done, we can show that. In this case, we're on duty until midnight last night for nine hours and 15 minutes. To split it, you'll use the scissor function, which is on the right side, and when you press that scissor, you'll notice that it splits it equally in half. So we started yesterday at 14.45. It shows that we're on duty until 19.22, which is four hours and 37 minutes. And then you'll notice you have another on-duty time that goes until midnight for four hours and 38 minutes. If what we want to do is show a post trip, we would show on duty. We would hit this drop down button. I need a pen. You could show your post trip. And then you would adjust the time here to show the length or the duration of that status. So we can begin by arrowing backwards and you notice as I press back so from 17 to 16 we're down to one hour here and the difference is added in to the status on the bottom so if we wanted to show 15 minutes we would arrow down one more time we would select the 22 and arrow back to 15 
we're almost there we can just show 20 minutes the next thing you would do is change this status from on duty to off duty and then we'll press OK again it'll ask for the reason why we're making the edit driver error we'll press OK so now you'll see that we were off duty we went on duty for a post trip for 20 minutes and then the rest of the time we were off duty if we come back to our summary we'll see that we're only missing 20 minutes which is the length of time of our post trip if you come to the graph go back to yesterday you could also see that 20 minute dip showing you're on duty.